Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we will talk about how to solve trig equations. Since there are no step-by-step -step directions to give for solving trig equations because there are so many types of trig equations, I'll go over some helpful tips to solve trig equations. First, it is very important to familiarize yourself with the unit circle. Next, you'll want to make sure the trig functions are isolated to one side of the equation by using algebraic manipulation. For example, if you have sine of x plus 1 equals 0, subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. Next, try to have only one type of trig function if possible. That means, for example, if you have sine of x minus cosine of x equals 0, try to manipulate the equation to have either all sine, all cosine, or turn it into another trig function. Next, use trig identities if possible. This will help simplify the problem and make it easier to solve. Next, make the trig inputs, which are the angles in terms of x, the same. For example, if you have sine of 2x plus sine of x equals 0, try to make the angles the same by making them both sine of x using identities. Last tip, use u substitution when the equation involves the same trig function raised to any power. So if you have sine of x squared plus sine of x plus 1 equals 0, let u equal sine of x, then solve for u, then replace sine of x for u, and solve for x. Let's see some examples of solving trig equations now. First example, we have sine of x plus 1 equals 2. One of the tips is to isolate the trig functions. So we want to isolate sine of x. So we'll subtract 1 from each side and get sine of x equals 1. Next, we will look at the unit circle and see for what x sine of x equals 1. On our unit circle, we can see sine of x equals 1 when x equals pi over 2. Also, when you make another full 2 pi cycle from pi over 2, you get sine of x equals 1. And so for n 2 pi cycles from pi over 2, you'll get sine of x equals 1. So x equals pi over 2 plus 2 pi n, where n is the number of cycles, and this is our answer. Next example, we have cosine of x minus sine of x equals 0. One of the tips is to try to have one type of trig function. So we will try to do this. We add sine of x to both sides. Then we will divide both sides by cosine of x. Since we know sine of x over cosine of x equals tangent of x, we can substitute in tangent of x. And now we have one type of trig function. Next, we will refer to the unit circle to see for what values of x tangent of x equals 1. We know that it will have to be when sine of x and cosine of x have the same value. We can see when x equals pi over 4, sine of x and cosine of x have the same value. So tangent of x equals 1. Also, if we make a rotation by pi, we get tangent of x equals 1 too. And if we make another rotation by pi, we get tangent of x equals 1 again, and so on. So our answer is x equals pi over 4 plus pi n, where n is the number of cycles or rotations. Next example, we have sine of 2x minus cosine of x equals 0, where 0 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 2 pi. One of the tips is to make the inputs, also known as the angles, and the trig function the same. We can use this identity to help us with this. We will substitute 2 cosine of x sine of x in for sine of 2x. Next, we can pull out a cosine of x. Now we get two equations, cosine of x equals 0 and 2 sine of x minus 1 equals 0. First, we solve for cosine of x equals 0, and we get that x equals pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2, taking in consideration of the domain. Next, we solve 2 sine of x minus 1 equals 0. We add 1 to each side of the equation and divide each side by 2, 
Referring back to the unit circle and taking in consideration of the domain, we have x equals pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. And these are our answers. Last example, we have 2 sine of x squared plus 3 equals 7 sine of x, where 0 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 2 pi. One of the tips is to use u substitution when the equation involves the same trig function raised to any power. So we let sine of x equal u. We substitute u in for sine of x. Next, we write this equation in standard quadratic form. Next, we factor the quadratic. Then, we solve. Next, we plug in sine of x for u. Now we have two equations to solve. First, we solve sine of x equals 3. There is no solution for this problem since sine of x never equals 3 given the domain. Next, we solve sine of x equals 1 half. We get x equals pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6, which is our answer. Solving trig equations can be very difficult. The key is to remember the tips and practice, practice, practice. For more help or practice on this topic, visit www.symbolab.com and click on the Practice tab.